Bonkers! <laughs> Never walked this fast in five years. <laughs> Well, hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Whiteley Wind Farm and I'm out here today and in the next couple of days to do a test on some interesting bit of kit. It's a Dinsys X1 exoskeleton. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a one mile rapid walk, which I do quite often for a bit of exercise up here. I'm going to tidal pace. I usually just like to crack on so as I get a wee bit out of breath. We'll check and see what my heart rate's like and how many calories I burn. I'm going to then use this Dinsys X1 um, and I'll try it with that and we'll see if it gives us any advantage. I'm not getting any younger, I'm 62 and I'm beginning to feel 62 years worth of outdoor stress and activity on my, my legs and my body. So when Dinsys approached me and said that they had a, an exoskeleton for your legs that would improve your power and reduce the stress uh, on your body. I thought, oh, I want to give that a try. No idea whether it's going to work, no idea whether it's a gimmick, but I'm hoping it does what it says in the tin. So, follow me along and we'll see how we get on on these wee tests. <laughs> So I suppose when you think about it, I've been using e-bikes for quite a time now, so why not a set of e-legs? Kind of makes sense in many ways, but when I first saw them I thought, ah, that sounds like a real gimmick. Ah, but I was intrigued, so this is really my way of finding out. I, I loved my mountain biking, but I really struggle now with the fitness. Um, so an e-bike has been great for me, and a bit, yeah, e-legs seems like an obvious thing for me as well in some ways. So let's just take a wee look at how we got on there. Oops. 101 calories burnt. 14 minutes 45. Okay, 104 max, 95 average. So I've been carrying the weight already just to make this a kind of fair comparison. Uh, and it's about, I think I believe it's 1.6 kilograms for the, for the whole kit, including battery. Even though it looks pretty bulky, actually it folds down to about the size of a, an A4 sheet of paper. It's carbon fibre so it all feels nice and light and it feels pretty comfortable on. And that's it powered up and then you just double press again to actually put it into the modes. And then you have these power buttons or these mode buttons on the sides here so you can adjust the amount of assist you've got and also the amount of resistance as well. Artificial intelligence so it gets to know your stride and exactly what you're doing and predicts what's going on. Oh, it's a strange feeling. Definitely a bit of extra lift. It doesn't feel like it's pushing your thighs. It makes you feel lighter. You feel... <laughs> it's a strange sensation. You feel a wee bit you're floating. It's like it's taking a few kilos off your body. So I'm trying to keep about the same pace as I did before. But it must be doing something because it just makes me feel like I'm floating a wee bit. <laughs> but as I got this hill here, just a slight incline. I was definitely more out of breath, I'm sure, the first time round. This feels easier. The impression I get is that it changes the power slightly on the gradient. Right, very interesting. Um, I will show you the stats. I think my heart rate was exactly the same. So I kind of just pushed as normal, tried to keep everything consistent. But I think at that heart rate, it looks like I've shaved over a minute off the time, I think. So kind of a surprising result actually in some ways. So my effort was pretty much the same, though I didn't feel it. But I appear to have been quicker for the same effort. Anyway, let's go to stage two. I'm going to run roughly 100 metres. Don't actually know what the distance is. It's between two metal marker poles. I'm going to run as fast as I can. Um, and then what I'll do is we'll put the X1 on and see if it makes any appreciable difference. Stop. Right, in case you didn't hear that, 24 seconds exactly over the pole to pole. Full sport mode this time. So full 900 watts, I believe. Whether I'll be any faster, I've no idea. But we'll give it a go. Not very scientific, but let's see what happens. This feels like I'm getting a shove. Stop. I think I by the time I looked at that, I think it was actually 25 seconds. 
One thing I would say though is I feel a lot less out of breath than I did on the first one. Despite the fact we came up here, took a short rest and then did the second one. Yeah, I'm not as tired, but there was no difference in speed for me on the run. Yeah, for now, we're going to move on to a slightly steeper test and just see how it is going up and down, a kind of gentle gradient up to the top of the viewpoint here. I'm going to walk up the hill without assistance, we'll time it and then we'll change over to the X1 skeleton and give it a go again. See you in a few minutes. Unassisted walk to the top of the viewpoint, which is about, I think it's somewhere between 1200 and 1500 feet. Not doing it necessarily against time, just doing it at my normal rapid pace that provides a workout. Probably only 15 degrees or so this slope, but uh, as you can see, if you look down at the loch behind me, it certainly cranks out the, the calories and the sweat. Back round, head back south. 0.85k, let's just stop it there. Okay, 9 minutes 54. Right, there we go. I'm ready. And then all I've got to do is power it back on again, which you do at the back here. So, long press. That's it on. And then a double press. You basically just connect with the device. There you go, up connected. Go into the details of it. At the moment, I'm in transparent mode. So, it doesn't feel like you've got them on. There's no power to them. I can then go to eco, which is what I used in the last stage. But for this one, I'm going to engage sport. It's 250 watts in a typical mountain bike in the UK. I've got 900 watts power in my legs at the moment. You can feel it in this mode. So this is sport mode, what a difference. It literally feels like somebody is shoving the back of your thighs up and bending your knees. I feel like I'm bouncing up the hill. It's like somebody's giving you a shove. It reminds me of the first time you got on an e-bike, actually. It's very similar. Um, whether this will be any faster or not, I don't know. But it's certainly coaxing me to go at a pace. It's quite fun, actually. <laughs> it's kind of pushing me on. It's kind of wants me to go for it. The motors are making a wee bit of a squeaky noise. But they're not that obtrusive. I actually do feel like I want to run. Definitely feel you feel a bit lighter on your feet. It feels like you're a bit a bit less effort. Yeah, so I can understand like someone who's maybe a bit less less fit or a bit less mobile. I can definitely feel it kind of kicking my feet up a bit more. But it's just I'm very aware that I'm wearing it. It's a wee bit kind of heavy around the hips. Does it have an impact? Does it change the way I'm running? Definitely. So this is Connor on Aqua Plus now. Definitely felt the resistance. You could feel a little bit of a burn come on in your quads. I think it's more more a bit of a kind of aid to get people into running. Um, so I think it's for kind of for kind of new people that are maybe struggling with fitness a little bit, but want to go a bit a bit longer. Coming back from an injury as well, so that's the other thing. I had a stress fracture in my leg that I've been de dealing with for a while, and if you've got something, it takes a bit of the resistance off. Right, okay. I'd say that's a, that's, that's a good be thing. Because what it does is it gets to know your stride through artificial intelligence. It works out what you're doing and then starts to assist you based on your particular pace. It's got a safety mechanism that stops as soon as you stop, just in case, to try and hold you still. I can hear it now. Do you feel it giving you a wee bit of a... That's the fastest you've walked in a long time. And the most steady, rather than forward. Is it? Aye, that's interesting. <laughs> that's that, that's the most mobile I've seen you for a while. <laughs> it's like a new lease of life. But to be fair, you're walking fairly steadily and more upright than I would say you'd normally do. You're definitely, you're actually, I would say you're walking quicker than I normally see you walking. And better, more upright. That's quite surprising. I've never walked this fast in five years. Right, so it's just getting a wee bit steeper, so I'm going into sport mode. Oh, it's 
sport mode. So in sport mode, yeah, it's nice. It really does give you a lift. When you turn it off, it just feels like you gain another two stone, bizarrely. I definitely feel heavier. So yeah, it's, it really does work. Um, and it'll work on these kind of gradients. My only concern is that it appears to cut out on steep hills. And that, as well, you can tell I'm out of breath now, um, and that is a big problem for me for hill walking. And I think what tends to happen with me is that I, I keep the same effort but I go faster. So whatever I do is a bit quicker. I've had this on for quite a few hours now and it feels really comfy. You get used to it very, very quickly. It doesn't obstruct your thighs in any sense. And these uh, these move up and down in the carbon blades. It's carbon fibre so it's light. What it does, it actually checks that it's all securely fit before it will even start to work. And you can feel it tense up around your thighs and around your waist. And in aqua mode, it actually burns more than twice the calories you would normally burn, so it's a, it's a damn good workout as well. I'm in sport mode, and that you can probably hear it, the motors are slightly louder, it's like a wee squeak from either side of your hip. But it's not hugely obtrusive, but yeah, they're really kicking my legs along. This is aqua mode going up the hill, twice the resistance, wow! Honest to God, that would be hard training. I can hardly get up the hill in this, this, this mode. Yeah, so I can feel the resistance on my knees, which is nice because it's like going downhill with poles. What's also good is whether you go uphill or downhill and you come to a stop, power cuts completely. There is no overrun of the either the aqua or the assist. So unlike a cheap mountain bike, it instantly stops. So the AI does seem to learn your stride pattern and your leg size or whatever it's doing, I don't know. Back uphill, so we'll crank that up and get some power. And off we go. It's lifting my feet up nicely. It's amazing. It does honestly feel like it takes about 20 odd kilos off your, your body weight. What th one thing I would say though is this battery, it's relatively small, it's only 300 grams. I think if you were out for a day, you'd probably need a second one. Unfortunately, in the kit that was sent to me, which I think was a second-hand model, there was no second battery. So, after a long day of filming yesterday, this was dropping to about 50%. Good for trail running though. It's, very, it's nice just to have that extra boost. You can feel it powering up the hill. It makes all the difference on the climbs. Ooh. Bonkers! <laughs> it's a lot of power. <laughs> if you look at an e-bike, an e-bike is well upwards of a thousand dollars for anything decent. So for a set of e-legs, is that unreasonable? Possibly not. Pretty much impossible to wear and wear a big rucksack of the size that I use with a hip belt to go around it. It's just they're going to clash with each other, the rucksack is not going to sit properly. So all in all, exciting times. I look forward to seeing what Dinsis does in the future and how it develops. I'd love to see a bigger exoskeleton that did the knees, the hips and possibly the shoulders and arms all in one thing. Um, it would be really cool, it would be something out of a, a Marvel movie and that will probably come in due course and I don't imagine it would be particularly heavy either. But uh, yeah, the future is interesting. We'll see what comes out next and uh, if they want to offer me anything to try, I'll be happy to give that a go as well.